Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this brand new day. In my lap, I have a little hamster. She is a cutie, an absolute sweetheart. She is just so well behaved. She's been running around in her cage and being absolutely good and wonderful and pure. So I'm going to put her back in her cage now. But here she is. Here we go, little one. Ta da! It is a very good thing. Right now, her cage, because of just the way I have things set up, she is, I've got one cage on the bottom, which is where she is, and then another cage sitting on top of that, and then, you know, one of them is running this way, the other one is running this way, so they sit on top of each other, and the top cage provides cover and darkness for the lower cage, so the new hamster has a darkness area, and it's, it's really good. It's a good thing. Definitely. I am super busy today. I've got a 9.30 appointment at the Veterans Administration again. Oh boy, it is 6.09 a.m. right now. I have to edit by approximately 6.30 so I can start rendering at approximately 7, so I can upload at approximately 7.30, so I can get out of here by approximately 8. Oy! And then drive to American Lake, have my appointment, drive back, and then hopefully be able to get some stuff done. Hopefully not bad news. It's a Ah, saliva spinning everywhere. It is a gastroenterology, so they may look down inside of my stomach. We may just make plans. I have no clues. But it's a gastroenterology appointment at 9.30 today. I have had people look into my stomach before with, you know, the, the devices that they put down inside of you so that they can view and make sure that things are okay down there. They may do it again. It's not horrible. I mean, it's horrible. And you gotta like swallow stuff as they put things down your nose. But it, it, it's acceptable. After all, remember, even if something is terrible and awful for 15 minutes, just the worst thing that you could possibly live through you know, and, and be uncomfortable and bad. It's just 10 minutes? Let's say it's just 10 minutes of one of the worst feelings you've had, like you're being waterboarded, because waterboarding is like you're gonna die. So, and yay, the United States does that. <laughs> but it's like you're being waterboarded. But on the other hand, it's quick, and then it's done. And remember, there's, that's 10 minutes. 10 minutes is what? Yeah, one sixth of an hour and there's 24 hours in a day and there's seven days in a week 52 weeks in a year 365 days in a year 10 years in a decade and you're complaining about 10 minutes of uncomfortableness that's 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 a grain of sand of uncomfortableness in an entire stack of stuff yeah, it's unpleasant, but also Bill Burr, the comedian, I thought summed this up so well. He was on this, oh, I can't remember what it is, where it's you eat hot chicken wings with a fairly, like, 10 different hot sauces from really, really mild to, like, there's a Scoville rating. Scoville ratings for peppers. Jalapenos are about one or 2,000, and then they keep moving up. Then until you get up to like the, the there's like the Indian, not the Indian ghost pepper, but there's an Indian pepper that's 50,000 um, units on the Scoba rating. And then there's like the habanero and such that's like, what, 100,000? But these people have made a hot sauce that's 2 million Scoville units. And Bill Burr, the comedian who is being interviewed this, said, well, yeah, of course I'm going to do this. It's people paid their money it's just a day they they've they're signing in here to see us sweat and blow snot out of our heads and, and be uncomfortable of course i'm gonna eat this hot stuff well yeah it's one day it may be the worst thing that you've ever done because it's so painful but it's only one day that's one 365th of a year that's one 3650th of a decade of course he's gonna do it. It's next to nothing. It's a blink of an eye, even if it was a full 24 hours. 
24 hours later, it's gone and it's behind you. So he's like, yeah, of course I'm going to do it. That's the attitude that I try to do with life. Try. Have not succeeded a whole lot. Try. But especially with the way I'm waking up, I'm trying a lot harder than I have through my life. And that's very good. When it comes to the comments on my channel, I have very, very few rules. This is an abrupt change of subject. Sorry about that. The only real rule... Oh, my tummy. I had to wash down on my meds with a carbonated beverage on an empty stomach. And then my stomach's upset even more than normal. But I, the only real rule I have for comments is it doesn't, if it's abusive towards me or others, then it's gone. If it's not abusive, then it can be as questioning, as deep, as unpleasant a question or comment as is possible. But as long as it's not abusive, then I don't care. Because people are curious. They want to ask questions. They want to know. They may go, hey, you know, this may come off wrong, but, and it sounds terrible, but it's not an abusive question. And that's okay. I've had to add another person to the send off stuff, you know, block, you know, report spam and abuse, all that, and then finally just hide comments from this person because every single thing was just started off with abuse and then abuse all the way through and then abuse at the end it's like oh i can tell you're a scammer because you deleted my comments you miserable scumbag you and it's like okay the part that you went miserable scumbag there we do bonk and the rest of the comment i have no idea what he said is the abuse bing we're gonna report that and then bing you're blocked off the, the channel. Everything else but abuse is fine. I don't care. As long as you're not abusive, I'm gonna leave comments down there. But if you're abusive towards me, and especially if you're abusive towards the other commenters, you're gone, you're deleted, and you're probably blocked. So, just wanted to mention that because you may have questions about what's going on, and that's fine. If you're curious about stuff, I mean, it's like, if you see these things behind me, I can understand why you'd say, gosh, you know, are you buying these things and you're poor? But when you immediately, oh, my, my arm is cramped in that position, ow. <laughs> but when you automatically make the assumption that I'm spending money on all this stuff, instead of finding out that I'm putting up presents that people send me from my subscribers and I'm not spending any money on it, and if you, depending on how that one goes, it can be iffy because I've had some people that are just immediately, oh, you're an evil person in the middle of a spider web because you own things. And you gotta love people. But I've gotta leave here at eight o'clock, which means I need to have this all uploading at about 7.30 which means I need to be rendering at 7, which means I need to be editing at 6.30, and it's 6.16 now. So, it's not going to be a full-length vlog today, just because I woke up at... What time did I wake up? I think it was 5.30. And it's been a half hour. I usually take about an hour, hour and a half before I can really get things done. So, having to push it like this, get it done within a half hour. What I am going to do, though, after talking about blocking an abusive person out of the comments, is I'm going to go through and thank a handful of people. I don't know how many people today. So, we will find out. Let me call up my Chrome. I know it's here somewhere. There we are. We have Justin Mate. Thank you very, very much. And love crafting. Greatly appreciated. Chris, thumbs up and thank you. Kathy Kiscat, greatly appreciated. 360 Supreme, thumbs up. Sam, greatly appreciated. Oh. J A J O and then A with an accent and then Sarah. Thank you very, very much. Mira Patrick, greatly appreciated. Rarkadin, thank you very much. And Exploded Wil Wilkster, <laughs> thank you very much. Gavin McNulty, greatly appreciated. V2 Blurry, greatly appreciated. Abstract Utaku, thumbs up and thank you. Philip Tran, thumbs up. It's Evan, well, 
not a nice person, but not intensely abusive, so life is life. And Mike, greatly appreciated. Consolo Lopez, greatly appreciated. AK Rats, thumbs up and thank you. And Pandora, NYC1, thumbs up. Brian Glenn, greatly appreciated, always. And Ecarona, e Corona, however that's pronounced, thumbs up and thank you. Storm Slayer, greatly appreciated. Najib Nasiri, thank you very much. And last but not least, Tundra Keeper. Son of a gun, I got a full 25 out of that. Greatly appreciated. Each and every one of you has stated to get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with actual people. Thumbs up. Definitely a good thing. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly, 618. Yeah, past the, what I've just mentioned, not really a whole lot going in my life. Two days, I have not gone walkies. Partly because it's just been raining so hard. And the second part is I just have been falling asleep so hard these past two days. Oh my gosh. Yesterday I fell asleep for so long. I was trying to get a reaction video done. I must have fallen asleep for four hours in the middle of the afternoon. Ugh. Well, good golly, Miss Molly. I'm going to try and get some stuff done when I get back. My appointment's at 9.30. So give it an hour of an appointment. 10.30, and then another hour and a half, hour, hour and a half to get back, 11.30, 12. I should be back around noon at the latest and then try and get some stuff done after that. Definitely a thumbs up. Oh, if you could check out my various links, Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, my blog, NearlySeniorCitizen.com, which I haven't even started work on yet. But still, my thanks to Brian Glenn for having gotten that all together. Thank you very much. It is appreciated. I've just been so busy. My sincere apologies. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron, that would be beautiful and awesome. Now, I would understand if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate. But if you... But I do take... I am, My brain is barely working. <laughs> I do take all good wishes and deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. And if you can toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. Definitely a thumbs up. And of course, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not want to. But if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now at the literal end of time. A very good thing. Oh, shuckle my duckle. I just, I feel rushed and worried because I'm having a lot more pain here in my abdominal area, just underneath my rib cage that's sort of spreading all the way across here now. So I am worried. I'm hopefully not going to die horribly within the next you know, weeks, months, or years. I would like to live until my 70s or 80s, possibly 90s. I wouldn't mind being an octogenarian as long as life was okay. I don't want to be one of those people that has no life but is still alive. I do not believe in any life is better than no life at all. No, life has to have meaning for you. It has to have purpose for you because life by itself has no meaning and no purpose. I mean, we're all just waiting to die, so thumbs up on that but we shall see oh good golly miss molly well i'm gonna call this one and then i'm going to edit so you take care have a great day today i will see you on the flip side my friend and that is a very good thing hopefully i am not getting bad news